Brightside's Tuilon Win has more this morning on another major voting block that's going to be playing a very important role. Tuilon, 49 days from today now on November 3rd. Good morning. Rob, good morning. This coveted block of voters is young voters. We're talking Gen Z and millennials. Together, they make up 37% of the eligible voters for this upcoming election. And both President Trump and the Biden campaign are going to be fighting over these voters because they could have a huge say as to what happens here in Florida. It's an untapped amount of force if they would come out and actually vote. Since Florida is home to some of the largest universities in the country, nonpartisan student voting registration groups are trying to make sure students are registered because they have the potential to sway this election. Young people are just the largest and most diverse group of potential voters in the country. Um, in this November, we have the chance to elect local, statewide, and national leaders that we'll be making important decisions that will impact us all. And, and so this fall in Florida, we are organizing on 20 campuses. While young voters hold a lot of potential, there's been issues with turnout in the past. And that sometimes has to do with confusion of just how or where to vote, especially when students are going to school away from home, which is the issue Florida PERG students wants to clear up really boils down to the logistics of voting and um, I think that's what gets people caught up and um, which is why we run a really strong peer-to-peer -peer mobilization program even virtually. And for a reminder, regardless of age, if you want to cast a ballot this November, the deadline to make sure you're registered is October 5th. And if you're voting by mail, well your ballot should be on its way within the next couple days here. Regardless